YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with some new Funko Pop pickups. So I got four pops today I'm gonna to show you guys. All excited to get these into my collection. Things I've had on my wish list for a while and happy to cross off the list. So let's get right into them and see what I got. Here we go. Listen, been in the game for a minute. Clocking in because it's time to get down to business. Starting is a habit, only I'm good at it. Ask around town, I'm known as the pop savage. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Hit subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content. And hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So with the holiday this week, I actually kind of forgot all about Wishlist Wednesday. So I guess it's like Wishlist Thursdays right here because I completely forgot and lost track of time of the day. So I'm going to show you guys four pops I've added to uh, my collection that I've been looking forward to get for a while. First one I want to show you guys is one I told you was going to pick up. Um, it's from a recent Speculation Saturdays video where I didn't have any pops from this collection and I wanted to make sure I added one to my collection. We got Bob Belcher from Bob's Burgers. So very, very cool pop, very, um, you know, iconic, I guess at this point, figure, cartoon character. Um, you know, Bob uh, or Boss Burgers is a very, very good, funny show if you haven't watched it yet. Strongly suggest you do so. I think a new season just started a, a week or two ago. Um, I haven't had this pop in my collection. I don't have any of the ones, uh, you know, Tina, Jean, Louise, or Linda. And uh, if you watched the Speculation Saturdays video uh, I did, I think two weeks ago, um, you'll see the reason why I think this is a pop you want to add to your collection before it kind of skyrockets in value. Uh, but glad to get one in the collection. You know, hopefully I can track down more in the future. Uh, this one's not the best box, but you know, for me, I just wanted to have the figure. Um, a lot of these uh, pops, you know, are older. I think this one's from 2016, so uh, five years, almost six years old now. And uh, these pops are kind of hard to find in the best of shape because a lot of these animation ones disney and animation pops in general a lot of people take them out of the box uh or don't care about the box so much because they're not necessarily like funko inbox collectors so it's hard to find them in good shape so if you find one definitely pick it up and be careful with the boss burgers pops there's a lot of fakes there out there as well on ebay so definitely uh, be careful and make sure you get a, a, a real one and uh this one's very very cool and happy to have it in the collection so up next this is a pop i got from my uh, hot Topic order, one of the most recent ones. I got another one coming in, and thankfully this one actually came in a box. Uh, hot Topic, I guess, may have seen my videos or what, but they stopped shipping in bags, so this one came in pristine condition. We have Ty Lee from Avatar The Last Airbender. So this is one of the few pops I need from this collection. I still need to pick up Azula, which for whatever reason I have not gotten yet. Um, there is a new one coming out that I do plan on getting that one. I don't know if I'll get the old one now. I'm kind of happy I waited because the new one is tough. It's a very, very nice looking pop. So Ty Lee, another one of those sisters from the Fire Nation or cousins. I forget what she was. Drop down in the comment section below. But dope character. Uh, I think the only one I want left is Suki. I've seen her in the store. Just haven't picked her up yet. And then that Super Avatar State one. I don't know. I, I like it, but I don't know if I need it or not. I, I like the ones I have. The uh, Chase Ang is just dope it's enough for me. Um, but Ty Lee's one I had to get in the collection, and uh, who's the other one? Mai, I think her name is. Um, and then I'll have the whole sisters or cousins or whatever they are. Uh, but this one's really dope. I got it on, on Hot Cash, and uh, half off for Common Pop is always what I like to buy. And uh, very cool pop, and uh, happy to have this one in the collection as well. Next pop I got from my brother, actually. He had this for forever. He, for whatever reason, he didn't want it. And... Uh, I'm happy to take any Funko Pops to fit in my collection. And this one's really dope. And I don't really know why I passed on this one. Uh, probably because of space, because it is a bigger pop. But looking at it now, this is actually the first time I've looked at it. I brought it in the house and I put it to the side for uh, my making videos pile. And uh, I'm looking at this now. This pop's pretty amazing. So we got Sleeping Beauty Castle with Mickey Mouse. So this is a very, very cool one. I think there's another one with this as well, where it's Walt Disney with the um, Sleeping Beauty Castle. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I'd much rather have Mickey than Walt Disney. Um, surprisingly, I don't have too many Mickey Mouse Pops. I think I have one or two at most. Um, so this will be the second or third one I have. And this one's pretty dope. Um, you know, I have, oh, actually I have the Fantasia Mickey Pops. I have two of those. So this is my third Mickey, I believe. But very, very cool one. Uh, they did a really good job with the details on the castle as well. It looks, you know, pretty lifelike, like the castle at Disney World. Um, but in general, this is a really cool pop. Not sure why he didn't want it. Uh, I guess it's just Disneyland pop. 
because it's Disneyland. Haven't been to Disneyland. Is that the same kind of castle there? Drop down in the comments if you know. Um, I don't know why he didn't want it, so I will take it off his hands. I guess this is probably my Christmas present for the year, guys, so I will take it because um, I don't expect anything else from coming from him. But uh, if you watch this, I really appreciate you hooking me up with this. And uh, it's a really, really dope pop, and I have to find a nice way to display this because I don't think this belongs in the box. Definitely feels like it has to be something that's taken out of the box and display the castle and Mickey, um, you know, in its full glory. So there you guys go. And then the last pop I got actually fits with the previous pop I showed you guys. Um, I got this as part of a collection that I'll be showing you guys slowly but surely, different stuff I got from there. And uh, this pop has been one for whatever reason that evaded me for a while. Um, I did a couple of Chase Roulettes and I don't think, I, I never got this one. And uh, happy to get this one in the collection now. And this is another pop I needed from that collection. We have the Zuko Chase from Avatar The Last Airbender. So I do have the common. Um, I don't know if I'll keep the common now because the Chase is good enough. Uh, I think it's a glow in the dark one. I, I can't really tell um, this, between the common and the uncommon. I think this is actually, if you can see, is a flame in his hand on the common and then this one looks like a dagger. I think that might be the difference. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, I don't really know, can't tell the difference too much, which, you know, it's uh, it sucks sometimes when that's the chase, but um, Zuko chase is definitely a dope one. I actually like Zuko. I know a lot of people don't like Zuko from the, uh, the show. I think he had a really cool and really good um, story arc as far as character development throughout the show. And, uh, you know, ended up being a, a dope character in the end. I don't want to spoil so much for you guys, but if you haven't watched Avatar at this point, uh, you really need to do so. It's probably the best Nickelodeon show of all time. Um, all bias aside, it's definitely got the best story and best, uh, you know, writing involved. But uh, Zuko Chase, definitely one I've been missing for my collection for a long time. And uh, very, very happy to add this one into the collection and like I said guys I have a lot of other stuff that's coming from that collection I'll be showing you guys in future videos so make sure you stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe if you're not already because I got some pretty dope things to show you guys as well but that is all I have for you guys today to be honest with you guys just want to show you guys those four pops since I missed yesterday's Wednesday video uh, I just want to make sure I upload the video today with pops I've been picking up um, definitely stay tuned for more videos in the future. Um, I didn't do like a grail or fails this week just because it wasn't so much that released this week and we're still, you know, kind of uh, coming off the back end of the New York City Comic Con pop. So Funko hasn't really announced too much new, but I have seen a few things that will be featured in next week's episode. So don't miss that. I have another video I'm going to try to upload this week as well as Speculation Saturday. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe for more content just like this if you're into Funko Pops or comic books as well. And uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys thought about these four pops. Which one was your favorite? If you have any of these in your collection, uh, let me know as well. And just your thoughts in general. As always, if you've not already, hit the like button down below. Hit subscribe if you're new. Check me out on my Instagram at ThePopSavage. You can stay connected there as well. And also my second channel, Savage Breaks, where I do Pokemon and sport card openings. Thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.